new job. In this video, we will look at the definition of the job for a reduced crown on tooth 26. In order to create a new restoration on hip socket, firstly, you must choose the name of the doctor and a kind of job you are going to carry out between the options fix the prosthesis and uh, removable prosthesis. Once you do this, you can click on new job. In this case, we select fixed jobs. Now we're looking at Hipsocata workspace. We begin with typing in the client's details. In the middle, we find the dental arch. We right click and select the tooth 26. From the drop down menu, we choose the kind of fixed prosthesis we want to achieve. Crowns, implant, and bars. We click on crowns and uh, reduced. By clicking again, we confirm the extension of the single tooth. Then, we select the tooth 26 to create a single element. On the top right, we provide the kind of data used for this case. Prepared model, raw model, and impression. In this case, we will start from a prepared model. Right below, we will have the information regarding the scanning phase and the antagonist, if present. If selected, the articulator function will activate automatically. Going down, we find the settings regarding the default choices, which can be managed also by selecting the profile previously created from the Profile Manager. We confirm by clicking on the OK button on the bottom right, and we proceed to the cat phase from the vertical menu on the left. At this point, the guided process for the scans upload will start. The software will open a folder in which we should copy-paste or drag and drop the scan files to be used in order to achieve this prosthesis. Once added to the folder, we select the requested files one by one at the top of the folder and we confirm by clicking on Open. Once that all the files have been imported correctly, we will switch to the CAD section of the software. At the bottom, we see the step bar, which will guide us through each phase of the process to achieve a correct creation of the prosthesis. Any possible warning or alert relative to the construction process will be highlighted interactively. By hovering on the alert, you will see the description of the kind of error to be amended or any suggestion on any parts you should revise. On the left, we will find a series of tools which are to be used in sequence from top to bottom. Please note it is not required to use every tool to carry out a good restoration. Now we can move on to CAD modeling. 